In my previous video, I wrote an Arduino library for the FM receiver TEA5767 to play pre-stored FM stations. In this video, a program is written to search and store detected FM stations in EEPROM. The stations are then played with station data displayed on LCD. This flowchart shows how FM stations are searched and stored within the commercial FM band. We begin by setting the current frequency to 88 MHz, which is the beginning of the FM band. And then we write this frequency to the TEA5767, and then read the signal level and stereo bit from the device. If the signal level is greater than 10, and we have a stereo bit set, then we store this station frequency in the EEPROM. Otherwise, we skip the storing part and increment the frequency, and then check whether we have reached the end of the band. If not, we continue with the process. So this loop will then detect and store in EEPROM the FM stations. This diagram shows how an FM station is detected based on the signal level and the stereo bit. Signal level is 16 levels from 0 to 15. We set a threshold at a certain uh, level, let's say 10. So the current frequency, if its signal level is greater than or equal to 10 and the stereo bit is set, then we have detected an FM station. This diagram shows how detected FM stations within the 88 to 108 band are stored within the microcontroller's EEPROM. Microcontroller 80 Mega 328 has a 1 kilobyte EEPROM. It has 1024 memory locations. Each location can store a byte. The address of the first location is 0 and the address of the last location is hexadecimal 3FF. As an example, let's say we have detected two FM stations within the 88108 band. To store the frequency of the first station, we need to split it into two parts, real part and fraction part. We store the real part in the first location, and we store the fractional part in the second location. We do the same with the second frequency, store the real part and then store the fraction part. So we have used here in this example four memory locations. We need to store this value 4 in a another memory location because this value will be used later on when we read and play the FM stations. After we store the FM stations in EEPROM, we can now press the FM station button to begin playing the stored stations. So once the button is pressed, we read the station frequency from memory, and then we write the frequency to the module. And then we read the signal level from the module, and then we update the location counter to point to the next uh, frequency. And then we check, have we played all the stations? If not, we go back and wait for the next button press. This process continues until all stations have been played and then we reset the memory pointer and start the process from the beginning. A circuit diagram of the implemented FM receiver is shown here. We have the TA5767 interface with the Arduino using I2C connection. We have the 1602 LCD interface with the Arduino using digital pins. And we have two push buttons this one is used to search and store FM stations, while this button is used to play the FM stations. A long press on this button also puts the device or the FM receiver in standby mode. The operation of this circuit is as follows. First, we need to press this button in order to search and store detected FM stations in EEPROM. The advantage of storing in EEPROM is that we do this only once since EEPROM is non-volatile and data is retained even when we power off. Next we press the PlayStation button in order to play the stored FM stations. 
so every time we press the button we go to the next station and so on. A long press of this button will then put the system in standby mode. In this demonstration we press the search button to begin the detection and storage of FM stations. Next we press the play button to begin playing the first FM station. We press the button to go to the next station and so on. We press and hold the play button to put the FM receiver in standby mode. In the sketch we need to include this library for the LCD which was written and demonstrated in a previous video. A link to that video is in the description. Also we need to include the library for the EEPROM in order to read and write from the microcontroller's EEPROM. We declare this object LCD which indicates which LCD lines are connected to digital pins of the Arduino. Next we need to include these function prototypes which are written in assembly and found inside the S file. These functions are used to program the I2C of the 80 mega 328 microcontroller in order for us to communicate with the FM receiver device. Inside the setup function we initialize the I2C and then we initialize the LCD and then we call this function to put the FM receiver in standby mode and then we display title text on the LCD. Inside function standby we call this function in order to write these bytes so that we mute the FM receiver and put it in standby mode. Inside function write TEA5767 we receive the bytes and then we use I2C protocol to send these bytes to the module in order to program it. Inside the loop function, while the FM receiver is in standby mode, we check the status of the search button. If pressed, then this if statement becomes true, and we display a searching message on the LCD, and then we call this function search station and send the minimum signal level threshold needed to detect the FM station. Inside function search station we receive the minimum signal level threshold and then we use this for loop in order to scan the FM band from 88 to 108 megahertz. Inside the loop we will calculate the phase lock loop value and then extract the low byte and then extract the high byte of the PLL and then write to the TEA5767 in order to program it with these uh, low and high bytes. Next we call this function in order to read the bytes from the FM receiver. Here we want to extract the stereo bit and the signal level. Inside function read TEA5767 we will use the I2C protocol in order to read four bytes from the module and save the bytes in this one dimensional array. Back inside function search station and after reading the bytes from the receiver we extract the stereo bit and we extract the 4 bit signal level which should have a value between 0 and 15. And then using this if statement we check whether the signal level is greater than or equal the assigned threshold and at the same time the stereo bit is set. If this condition is true it means we have detected a FM station. Now we need to write the uh, frequency of the FM station in the EEPROM so this statement will store the integer part of the frequency in the first location of the EEPROM. We update the memory pointer and then we write the fraction part of the frequency on the second location of the EEPROM. We increment the memory pointer so that the next location is available for the next frequency storage. 
Once all of the station frequencies have been stored in memory between 88 to 108 uh, megahertz, the next step is to store the end value of I, which represents the number of memory locations used. Here in this example, we are storing it in location 255. You can store it in any location you like. Now this value will be used later on in another part of the program. Back inside the loop function and after searching and storing all of the FM stations in memory, we call this function to put the FM receiver in standby mode and then we display the uh, title text on the LCD and then we reset the counters used in this uh, sketch. While in standby mode, if we press the station button, this if statement becomes true and we get from location 255 the number of used EEPROM locations and store it in this variable total locations. If the button press is less than half a second then this if statement will be ignored and we go to the else. Inside the else we will read first the integer part of the stored frequency from EEPROM and then we will read the fractional part and add it to the integer part in order to get the floating point frequency of the station. And then we call this function set frequency in order to program the module to play that station. Inside function set frequency, we will receive the radio frequency of the FM station and then calculate the phase lock loop value and then extract the low byte and then the high byte and then use this function to send these bytes to the FM receiver in order to play that FM station. Back inside the loop function and after we call this function to play the FM station this function will read the bytes from the module in order to get the signal level and then we call this function to show on the LCD the frequency of the playing station and also the signal level of that station. We update the counter for the memory pointer and then we check is it equal to total number of locations if so it means we have played all of the stations and if this condition is true the counters are reset. While the FM station is playing if we do a long press of the button this if statement becomes true and also this if statement becomes true since the button press is more than half a second then we put the FM receiver in standby mode we display the title for the standby mode reset the counters and wait for the next button press in a future video the TEA 5767 library will be updated to include search and storage capabilities Thank you for watching.